considering a timber harvest on your family forest. The highest priorities for most forest landowners are scenic beauty, forest health, and family traditions. This program is about how timber harvesting can be used to promote these goals on your family forest. It is important to understand that Intermountain West forests have evolved with disturbances like fire and insect outbreaks, both of which play critical roles in creating the forests we see today. Dramatic examples of these disturbances can be seen today over large portions of many western states, where bark beetles have killed many thousands of acres of mature forests. Many forestry scientists and practitioners believe that the dramatic change that accompanies these large-scale disturbances could be tempered by actively managing our forests. To manage family forest lands in ways that are compatible with landowner goals and beneficial to the forest itself, Utah State University Forestry Extension advocates thoughtful forest management done in cooperation with nature as a gentler way to guide forests through these inevitable changes. Well-planned and executed forestry operations can improve recreational and scenic values over the long run while mimicking the changes that occur in nature. High quality timber harvesting is one of the most important components of sustainable forest management. With careful planning and implementation, timber harvesting can result in more diverse and beautiful forests that are better able to withstand natural disturbances like insect outbreaks and wildfires. Any timber harvest should begin with the assistance of a trained professional forester who can help the landowner develop a forest management plan. For any given forest stand, there are a number of possible outcomes depending on what is there and what is desired. Ecologists use the term desired future condition to describe this picture of the forest in the future. For a landowner, this means you need to communicate your objectives and priorities to the professional forester you are working with. For example, what is the most important to you? Grazing? Recreation? Or both? I'm uh, Eric Brettauer. I'm the landowner here of about uh, 2,300 acres in Kane and Garfield counties, Utah. I've always enjoyed the mountains and forested land. It gives me a, a good feeling. I bought it many years ago and hope that it stays in our family for generations. We erroneously thought that uh, we didn't need to manage our, our forests. We could just let them go and not cut them and uh, everything would take care of itself until uh, one day I was being visited by a colleague of mine and he suggested that our forests were in pretty bad shape and we needed to get aggressive and manage them or we were going to lose them. I didn't know much about uh, forest practices, proper forest practices myself. And I uh, went to the state, the Division of Forestry in the state of Utah, and asked for their assistance. Well, at the time, the, uh, the state suggested that we develop a management plan, a they called it a stewardship plan, and um, which was a considerable undertaking. Uh, it was a cooperative effort where they worked with us in terms of our, uh, our endpoints, how we wanted the forest to, to appear in terms of its appearance and in terms of its physical health. And uh, then over a period of, uh, I would say, uh, Two years, a stewardship plan was developed that we all, they, they basically developed it, but we bought into it. We, uh, meaning my family, uh, wished to have a forest, ultimately wind up with a forest that was attractive uh, to look at, that it looked healthy, uh, absence of too many dead trees, um, that it was generally a healthy forest. I'm uh, Doug Page. I'm a forester, almost 25 years now practicing forestry. Landowners should, when they're managing the forest, they should consult with a forester, either a state forester or a, or a private consulting forester. Now, a forester is uh, someone who has been trained 
has a college education in professional forest management. Uh, the education should have included uh, not just forestry courses, not just the technical timber related courses, but uh, dabbling in wildlife management and recreation management and visuals and watershed so that they have a, a balanced approach and uh, understand the, the actual ecosystem that they're dealing with. The professional forester has been trained to recognize situations, to understand what species, tree species you're dealing with, uh, what the capability is of each tree species, what the limitations are. The forester is the one who plans He's the one who kind of directs what's going to be done. And then the, the logger is the, is the implementer. He's kind of the one who practically says, uh, well, this tree can come down, but it can't fall that way. It's got to fall in a certain direction because it has a lean or it has a certain defect to the tree. So there has to be a partnership there. Um, loggers can do a good job and, and you can achieve good uh, results and uh, achieve the management objectives you have on the land. I'm Jeremy Blazard, I'm from Camas and I'm a fifth generation logger. Caring enough about the forest to do a good job. I mean, there's always going to be damage, but you can keep it minimal and do the best you can to keep from, keep the brush down and keep the damaged trees up to a minimum. And a lot of guys don't pay attention where they're going and they run over, run their tires up trees and blow the bark off of them. And if you don't watch where you're going, it can't even hardly feel it when you hit a tree and they go down and can cause a whole lot of damage in a little bit of time on a skidder if you're not careful five generations of logging and you need to have good logging practices or else you don't keep working. It doesn't take a whole lot of fancy equipment to get it done, but if they care is the big thing. Just you gotta care what it looks like when they get done.